In our previous lecture on fractions, that is fraction lecture one, we introduced you to the concept of fractions. So in this lecture, we shall be considering how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction and how to convert from a mixed fraction back to an improper fraction. Okay, let's begin with conversion of an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. We told you that it is not proper for a child to carry a man. So since this is not proper, so whenever we see this happen, we simply rush to rescue the child. Now, what does this mean? In this case, whenever we have an improper fraction, that is a fraction whose numerator is bigger than the denominator, we simply rush to deliver the denominator by converting the improper fraction into a whole number and a proper fraction. That is, we rush to deliver the denominator by converting the improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Okay, let's show you how to convert. The example says, convert the following improper fractions to a mixed fraction. Number one, five over two. Number two, six over five. Number three, 19 over four. Okay, solution, let's look at the solution. Now let's convert five over two. You can see that that is an improper fraction, right? because the denominator 2 is small. So to do this, we are going to simply ask, we are going to now check how many 2s are in 5. How many 2s are in 5? You can see that there are two 2s in 5. Remember 1, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, so remember 1. So we simply check how many 2s are in 5. Or you can also say 5 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2 will give us what? 2 remainder 1. So by checking this, we can see that we have two 2s in 5 with a remainder of 1. Now what it means is that 5 over 2 is equals to 2 whole number remainder 1 all over the original denominator. I hope you understand what we just explained. Now, what we mean is this. You are given 5 over 2. The first thing we are going to do is to check how many 2s are in 5. Of course, you know that there are two 2s, right? Okay, with a remainder of 1. So it therefore means that 5 over 2 is equals to 2 whole number, remainder 1, all over the original 2, the denominator. That is how to convert from improper fraction on to a mixed fraction. Okay, let's look at example two. Now, converting six over five. So we simply check how many fives are in six. Of course, we have only one five, right? So we have only one five in six with a remainder of one. Or you can say six divided by five. Six divided by five is what? One remainder one. So it means that 6 over 5 is equal to 1 whole number, 1 all over 5, the original denominator. So the answer is 1 whole number, right? Remainder 1 over the original denominator. I hope you understand how to convert from improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Okay, let's solve this last example. 19 over 4. Now, we are going to check how many 4s are in 19. You can see that we have 4, 8, 12, 16. So there are 4 4s in 19 with a remainder of 3. Or you can simply say 19 divided by 4. It will give you 4 whole number with a remainder of 3. So this means that 19 over 4 is equals to 4 whole number, remember that 3 all over the original 4. So that is the solution. Okay, now let's advance and look at conversion
from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Okay. There are some steps we need to follow in order to convert a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Please pay keen attention, even as we explain this. Now, in converting from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction, we take the following steps. One, we multiply the denominator by the whole number. The first thing we have to do is to multiply the denominator by the whole number. Step two, we are going to add the result of step one with the numerator of the mixed fraction. That is, when you multiply the denominator by the whole number, you are going to get an answer, right? Then, the answer you got, you are now going to add it with the numerator of the mixed fraction. Okay. Don't worry, when we solve example, you will understand more clearly. Now, step three says, after this, we then divide the result of step two. Now, whatsoever you get in step two, we are going to divide it by the original denominator of the mixed fraction. I hope you understand these steps. Okay, a classical example will help you to understand more clearly. Now, the question says, Convert the following mixed fractions to an improper fraction. Number one, we have two whole number, one over two. Number two, we have one whole number, one over five. Number three, we have two whole number, three over five. Number four, we have four whole number, three over four. Okay, let's look at the solution. Let's convert them. Now, let's look at two whole number, one over two. The first step says multiply the denominator by the whole number, right? So the denominator there is 2. So we are going to multiply 2 times 2. And that gives us what? 4. Then we now add plus the numerator, which is 1, all over the original denominator, which is what? 2. So this is what we are going to have. 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2. That is, this 2 times 2 is to multiply the denominator with the whole number, plus 1, adding the numerator all over the original denominator. Of course, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 plus 1 gives us what? 5. So the answer is what? 5 over 2. So it means that 2 whole number, 1 over 2, when you convert it, it gives us what? 5 over 2. Okay, let's look at number 2. 1 whole number, 1 over 5, the same step. We're going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So we're going to say 5 times 1, right? Then we now add it to the numerator, plus 1, all over the original denominator, which is what? 5. So what we're going to have here is what? 5 times 1 plus 1 over 5. Of course, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 over 5, right? So 5 plus 1 gives us what? 6, and that is 6 over 5. So it means that one whole number, 1 over 5, is equal to what? 6 over 5. I hope you understand this. Okay, let's look at the next example. Two whole number, three over five. So we multiply the denominator by the whole number, that is five times two. Then we now add the numerator plus three. So this is what we're gonna have. Five times two plus three over the original five. Five times two is 10. Then we now have 10 plus three, right? All over five. So 10 plus three is what? 13 over five. It therefore means that 2 whole number, 3 over 5, is equal to what? 13 over 5. Okay, let's look at the last example. 4 whole number, 3 over 4. So we're going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 4 times 4 is 16. Then we now add plus the 3 there. It gives us what? 19. So you can see 4 times 4 plus 3 over the original 4. That gives us 16 plus 3, right? Over the original 4. 16 plus 3 gives us what? 19 over 4. So this is how to convert from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Okay, let's give you something to play with. Convert the following mixed fractions to an improper fraction. That's number 1. 10 whole number, 4 over 7. B, 9 whole number, 3 over 11. Question 2 says, convert the following improper fractions to a mixed fraction. A, 14 over 5, then B, 23 over 11. Okay, we've come to the end of this particular lecture. 
in our next lecture we shall be considering fractions lecture three here we are going to look at reduction of fractions to its lowest term see you in our next lecture thank you